Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Friends, I am Meer Muhammad Wasik on your channel Meer's Electro World. Today I'm here with uh, an application uh, uh, that we are going to design using uh, Arduino. It's an Arduino based application. And uh, this application is based uh, on, uh, on the task uh, that we want uh, this uh, whole hardware to do is to pick up the sounds uh, on runtime from the surrounding and uh, uh, convert the these uh, uh, incoming analog signals uh, into the digital signals and then we convert the digital signals into the dbs right to uh, achieve the noise or the voice levels uh, for that purpose uh, we need a couple of components here uh, the components required for this uh, project uh, whose title is arduino based sound or you can say like noise level meter uh, we need an Arduino Uno that's uh, here. This is the Arduino Uno. To, uh, uh, we need this one and uh, we need this uh, sensor module. It's KY038 sensor module. This is the sensor module here, right? In the picture here, you see two types of the sensor modules that's in the bucket. On the right hand side, we have the three pin uh, sensor module, and on the left hand side, we have the four pin sensor module. The difference is uh, this three pin just give us the output, just the analog outputs, right? Here on the other hand, uh, this digit, uh, this one uh, on the left hand side gives us uh, both the analog and the digital outputs. I'll show you the details of uh, this uh, uh, sensor. Here we have the microphone, right? And uh, this one is a, it's a tripod. It's a tripod, it's a variable uh, uh, resistor. Uh, this is here to tune the, this, uh, uh, the sensor module here you see little IC is here it's an amplification IC that is amplifying the incoming signal uh, and also performing the task of uh, uh, converting the analog to the digital uh, uh, as an analog to digital converter uh, this IC is working here right and these are the outputs here uh, the first one here uh, if you zoom the camera right the first one is the A0, it's the analog uh, uh, pin, right? The second one is the G, that's the ground pin. The third one is uh, the positive voltage, right? The 5 volt uh, direct current uh, will supply over here. And the last one is the digital pin, D0. So these are the uh, four pins here. To When you buy this uh, from the market, uh, it's not uh, uh, um, tuned. So you need to tune this one before... Uh, uh, you know deploying it uh, in the circuit so for the tuning what you need to do is uh, well, I'll show you how to tune this thing just put it here we need a breadboard as well right to perform this uh, whole of the task to to design the circuit here uh, I'm just placing this uh, KY038 sensor module here now I'm supplying this 5 volt it's a 5 volt direct current so uh, what we need to do, we will just uh, place the ground pin here. This is the negative voltage on the ground and the positive 5 volts onto the plus, you see. Here, when you when you buy this from the market, it's not like this. Uh, two lights are basically glowing here, I'll show you. By rotating it anti-clockwise, we are tuning the uh, this uh, sensor module. Now I'm just rotating in clockwise direction, so I'll show you when you buy it from the market, what is the status of this uh, sensor. So it's a clockwise rotation. I'm using this uh, paper cutter anyway, it's not uh, good for it. Here you see, when you buy the sensor from the market uh, and you supply the current, you will see two lights uh, uh, glowing uh, on the board of this uh, uh, a little module. Now, what you need to do is you need uh, anything uh, to turn the this uh, variable uh, resistors, uh, this little knob, right? There's a knob here, right? It's a little knob, and I'm turning the knob now to uh, anti clockwise. Now, here I'm trying to turn it. You see, when I'm turning it, you know, one light is getting off. It's It's already, it's almost off now. On the point where this light gets off, that's the point where it's already now tuned. Now it's tuned and uh, we will deploy this in our uh, uh, in our circuit, right? So, first of all, uh, 
what you need is to understand the uh, you know this uh, programming code that's uh, uh, basically performing a uh, whole of the task so many of the videos are there on the YouTube but uh, none is clear and uh, that's why I'm trying to uh, make uh, this project a bit more clear the, uh, by uh, giving you the details of the you know this uh, this Arduino IDE code as well so for the code I'll show you this is the Arduino code right that's uh, today uh, we are going to use right uh, just uh, I'll try to make it a bit more clear for you to understand what I'm going to say right so that's the whole code here you see we have a constant integer right this is the constant integer mic uh, I'm just using mic right you can use uh, any other if you want right this mic and it's equal to zero what it means it means uh, that I'm using uh, <clears throat> the analog pin uh, zero zero analog pin on the microcontroller that's here this is the zeroth analog pin right a naught so that's the zero means uh, the microphone uh, amplified output is connected to your pin a naught that I'll show already show you right here uh, this is the integer uh, we are declaring this integer here uh, I'm, I'm declaring ADC right uh, for this purpose right and uh, here I'm declaring another uh, integer it's a byte type PDB that's the variable that is basically uh, this variable is uh, holding the values that we are reading from uh, uh, the microphone uh, from the runtime environment right that every time you are getting this uh, from the microphone now the next one is this setup function you already know uh, we define all of the pins that we want to make input or output in this section right so here the serial dot begin 9600 that's the baud rate basically this is the baud rate uh, you have to place the baud rate here uh, because we are uh, uh, um, we are using the serial monitor of the IDE to show our outputs um, for this uh, project so that's why I'm uh, using the serial dot begin at 9600 baud rate right this the, the next function is it's a pin mode function right uh, and uh, we are using this function here to uh, to make uh, our uh, output pin so in this case today we are selecting this uh, three as the output pin right if you want to uh, connect anything on the output right today we are not connecting anything we are just uh, trying to see the you know the outputs on the serial monitor so that's up to you if you want to do that right and now the next one is the it's the loop function right here uh, you already know uh, that the loop function uh, is that function which iterates again and again right so here in this loop function, uh, what we are doing here is uh, we are uh, trying to store uh, our previous values, right? That's there uh, in DB. We are trying to store them in uh, the PDB. That's uh, we are trying to store the previous values. So the new values comes in, and uh, you know the and it will compare with the previous values, and the pro process will go on. And uh, here. Uh, in the next line you see ADC that's the integer type that's declared here right is equal to analog read it's it's a function so it's an IDE function so we are calling this function here and we are supplying the mic mic is the uh, is the uh, is the pin on which uh, 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 from the sensor the you can say like the output of the sensor will come so that's in our case we have already selected the zeroth uh, analog pin so the zeroth analog pin will come here so from that pin the, we will pick up the values right and we put the values in adc that's the integer type right and uh, it's a data type so here in the next line uh, we are uh, using the serial dot print line uh, the purpose of this function is to uh, print the values that's that will come in adc on the next line that's the purpose of this function now I'm putting the delay here for 400 milliseconds uh, because um, in other uh, in other uh, if you not put any delay right you know the output is so fast you can't uh, read it from the serial monitor so that's why I'm putting uh, 400 you try 300 or 200 up to you like uh, okay and uh, after 
uh, it will display this function will display the ADC values that's uh, straightly coming from the mic right uh, here after the delay we are converting uh, these values uh, into the uh, into DB uh, for that purpose uh, here we are using a, a formula right this is the formula uh, from the linear regression method this method uh, is uh, basically giving us a facility in which if we supply the ADC values to the this to this function this function will convert these values to db values so we are deploying this linear regression method here right to convert the adc values that's coming from uh, the sensor uh, to uh, and con we are converting these values with the help of uh, this formula and uh, we are storing the values in the, the, that's converted right uh, into the db this db is here we already declared this db it's integer type of db right so now if uh, the next uh, line is if pdb is not equal to db it means if pdb is equal to db it means nothing is going on okay the previous values are there and uh, there is no change so if uh, pdb that's the value uh, that is uh, every time this loop goes on it will pick up the db value and it will put the db value into the pdb so every time we have a new value right that's why we are we are placing a check here if this pdb is not equal to db then our purpose is here if uh, if it's equal to db it, it means that there is no change right the previous and the um, you know the new values are the same the, so that's uh, we don't want that uh, condition so we need this condition here uh, we need uh, to to place a check here uh, the PDB value should be changed. It should, if it is changed, then it will go on and it will print, uh, you know, uh, using this serial dot print line on the next line. Uh, we use this function to print the DB values. And I'm putting the delay here, so it's easy for us to uh, read uh, the values on the serial monitor. Otherwise, if you not, if you don't put it, it's a bit fast, right? Reading uh, with human eyes is a bit more. Uh, difficult right so that's the logic here so the whole of the thing is this is the formula here this formula is uh, I'll, I'll show you the formula this one is here it's the linear regression method and we're using this formula if you supply the digital values that uh, that's already converted right the analog values that already converted into the digital values ADC values uh, in our case uh, our sensor is doing the job right it's bringing the ADC values. So we are supplying the ADC values uh, to this formula, and the formula is calculating. It's ADC plus 83.2073 divided by 11.003. So that's here. It, will, it gives us a value in dB by linear regression method. So I'll move on to the code, right? If PDB is not equal to dB, it means uh, the PDB has the new value there. And we have the previous value and the new value to make a comparison. If it's not there, then print that, that value. That the value is there that's already in PDB. Because we're already supplying the DB into the PDB, right? So we are just calling this function here serial.print line. So it will uh, print this DB in the next line and the delay is here. And you know the bracket closed. This bracket is the this this white function's bracket. And it's closed. This is the whole of the program. So now the program is here. Now what we need to do, we need to do the interfacing of the uh, setup, right? It's already tuned. So I'm just using it. Bring the camera here, here to the circuit, right? This breadboard. Now I'm connecting, I need this uh, Arduino. Uh, and this is the data cable. Right, you need this one as well to connect it to uh, with your laptop, right? So I'm now connecting this USB on the, on the other side. You have the USB, right? I'm connecting this USB here. You see, it, the lights are glowing. It means uh, it's working. Anyhow, here. Now I <coughs> we need to do a little, uh, uh, you know, the jumper wires. We need the jumper wires to make this uh, interfacing of uh, this uh, sensor module and uh, 
this Arduino uh, board, right? So this is the five volts. It's a five volt direct current. I'm supplying the current straightly to uh, the, the pin number. This is the second pin is the ground and the third pin is the positive one. So I'm supplying the this negative to the ground. Here you see the negative to the this this ground right here this ground and the positive one this is the positive 5 volts is uh, I'm connecting this to this positive you see the sensor is on now output of the sensor is here on pin number one that's the analog pin so we need another jumper wire right to connect this uh, output from pin number one of this sensor right this is the pin number one connecting this uh, but to power off uh, before doing all this uh, anyhow I'm, I'm doing it anyhow so I'm just uh, output is output of the sensor is going into the analog uh, A0 pin of the Arduino board right here it is the simple interfacing it's done so now come here now uh, I'll show you uh, how to upload the program this is the program here now I'm just clicking the button this button this button is just you have to press this button it is doing the compilation now now the program is compiled it's done you see it's done compilation done compilation it means no errors nothing is here everything is going fine now uh, the next button is this is the upload button you have to press this now the program will upload into the microcontroller you see this microcontroller is here right and the program will upload here the microcontroller is connected with this uh, you know this data cable with the laptop and here when you press the upload button right this upload button it will upload this upload button will upload this program into the microcontroller and the microcontroller lights will blink it means the program is uploading and here you see done uploading it means the program is uploaded right so now we will go on to the tools here right and uh, we go on to the serial monitor right and here you see the output uh, the first one is the ADC values the second is the values that's in DB's you see now it's picking up the sounds from uh, the surrounding and both uh, the ADC values the bigger values right the bigger values are the ADC values hope you uh, see uh, what's going on here on the screen now I'll show you the output on the plotter you'll see the output on the serial plotter go on to the tools select this serial plotter and we'll see the graphical representation of the ADC values and the values in DB. You, these long spikes, right? These long spikes are the ADC values. And the shorter spikes here, right? These are uh, the, you know, these values that's already converted in DBs. It's almost below 100 DBs, right? So it's going on like uh, 70, 60, 70, 80 DBs. And these are the, the large spikes uh, shows us the, uh, the ADC values that's coming from the, uh, uh, this sensor module. So that's it, gentlemen. We see the outputs uh, on the serial monitor. Now you can deploy this, uh, all of the, you know, this uh, output and you... It's possible to connect uh, different machines on the output, right? It's up to the uh, demand and the application that we want to design. Anyhow, hope so you like this video. Many videos are there uh, and uh, I tried uh, on my level best to make you a bit more clear what exactly the linear regression method is and uh, what is the exact formula that we are deploying to uh, convert uh, ADC values into the DB values. Hope you understand uh, all of the things what uh, I tried here. And uh, if you like this channel, please uh, uh, click on the thumbs up button, right? Share it with your friends, uh, okay? Promote my channel and uh, uh, subscribe it. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.